Welcome back to another interview. Today we have the infamous John Stanley on the men's volleyball team. I'm dead. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. So glad that you could take some time out and, uh, and spend time with us today. Yes. Um, of course. So, what position do you play? Just give like a brief introduction. Oh like, my goodness. This has been so tricky. I am listed as an outside serving specialist and libero. So, all three of those I can definitely do. Anything you want me to do, I'll do. I'm basically wherever the coaches need me, I'll go. I'll go I saw in. you play outside at Club V when I was there. Was I'm there. dead. Yeah, back in the day, yeah. <laughs> I used to be an outside hitter. But also, I played a couple games at BYU as an outside. Oh my gosh, best moment of my life. I love. <laughs> Literally, I was crying after I got my first kill. I was like, yeah, you can jump through the gym. I didn't even know until like, it's like I've seen you just like serve and like just like stay. <laughs> yeah. But, like when we saw you like just, like playing open gym, I was like, holy cow. <laughs> Back in the day, I used you're to jump. You're an athletic against. freak. I'm dead. Thank you. But you're extremely athletic. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> so, obviously, you play volleyball. How long have you been doing that for? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, I've been playing since I was, like, three or five years old around that time when I started because my dad has, like, a clinic back home in Hawaii. We, he started that when I was, like, when I was born, basically. So, back in, like, 2000, he started it. And my whole family plays volleyball. So, literally, every if you go through our family, you're playing volleyball at some point in your life. So I apparently just started around that young age of three or four or five years old with like a balloon or like a volley <laughs> light, you know, just, yeah. just like t hitting it around. And so we used to go to my high school, Kaiser High School, and that's where our clinics were. And so I was playing literally since like three or four years old and just on the courts. Yeah, so fun. you've known just for a long time that volleyball is your sport. You're gonna yeah, oh my gosh. Literally, if you're in our family, you're playing volleyball at some point in your life. Yeah. And so I was always grateful that like, I was always surrounded by volleyball and I never got like irritated. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. I kind of hated it when I was like <laughs> eight to 10 because my brother Will, he loved volleyball and I hated that he liked it. So then I hated it. So I was like, oh, I can't like volleyball. But I would still go to the clinics every Sunday just because I was like, I have to be around it. But I can't let him know that I don't like it. Yeah. So like, I'll, I'll show up and I'll just like keep playing on the side and stuff like that. So in your big volleyball family, how many kids are there? Oh my gosh, yeah, there's a lot of us. So. I, well, I say there's a lot. So in my immediate family, like it goes me and my brother Will, and then we have two half siblings. Um, their names are Clay and Taya, and then they have two half siblings, Natasha and Reese, and then they also have two half siblings, Noah and Riley, and they actually have a half sister, Aria. So there's nine of us in total, and it's funny we all play volleyball, and we all played at some point of our life. So it's crazy. Every, yeah, all of us play. <laughs> like, it all started with our parents. My mom, my dad played. Um, Natasha's parents played. Like, my Clay and Taya, their parents played. Like, everyone's played volleyball at some point in their life. Um, my oldest brother, Clay, played in the Olympics. My dad played in the Olympics. Like, volleyball's been in our blood for a while. <laughs> it's crazy. Does it go back to your grandparents, too? Or is it Honestly, so... My dad, he's pretty old. He's 79, turning 80 this year. So he played with my um, my Hanai brother, Noah, his grandfather. My dad and his grandfather played together back in the Olympics. And every anytime they're here in Hawaii, they always played together. So it started for sure with them. And they probably paved the way for all of us to play volleyball throughout our entire life in Hawaii, which has been amazing. Uh, and so you're playing, did you mostly play like growing up just a lot of club high school as well yeah. yeah so when you're 10 years old that's when you can start your time of playing club um sometimes you're like nine ten eight years old playing up in a 10 year old division so 10 years old you can start playing your indoor career volleyball and so that's when i started playing indoor um i've been i played beach literally almost every weekend when i was eight years old going to our canoe club playing on the beach courts playing on the baby court is what we would always play when we were younger because they have the normal size big courts for the adults and then they have a third court that's just a little bit lower a little bit smaller for the kids to play on because they want the parents to play and then have the kids have a side yeah. court which is really nice and so yeah I literally played beach volleyball almost every weekend it was so amazing just because if I wasn't playing volleyball then I was watching volleyball with my parents or talking about volleyball because my older brother Will was playing or my oldest brother Clay was playing in for the national team for the USA so we're always just around volleyball which has been really nice yeah so that really just gives you that deep passion, that deep love. You continue Literally. Playing. And I am so grateful just because, like, I've never, like, lost a love for volleyball. And, like, it makes me so happy right now when 
I see other kids playing volleyball because like I can see that they love the sport too and that just makes me so happy and so like right now I'm coaching volleyball for Club V and so I'm coaching 12 year old girls and like it just <laughs> makes me so happy like they're 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 pretty good for 12 year old kids like they're learning so much and like it just makes me smile when I see things clicking for them when they finally get how to like pass the ball with their hands correctly or they can finally hit a ball over the net it just makes me happy just because growing up like the clinics every Sunday we had like I was surrounded by all ranges of volleyball like people who barely even knew how to run like it was so funny <laughs> so I'm just running like this I'm like girl what are you doing <laughs> who taught you to run like that <laughs> I was like but yeah you just get all types of people when you're doing clinics for 20 years of your life and so yeah. you can gauge how to coach someone and just see like okay Maybe it'll take them a little bit longer to learn and just grow in volleyball, but as long as they keep coming back and keep trying, like that's all you can ever like hope for. And that's what I've seen in so many people and so many kids. Yeah. And I love it so much. That's awesome. And so as you hit your teen years and you, you said you want to play collegiate, yeah. um, what kind of was your recruitment path that you took? Yeah, so when I turned around like the age of 15, that's when I kind of knew I was like, okay, I can kind of play volleyball. Because, you know, when you're 10 to 15, you're just on the court just playing, like having a good time. Like you're just a kid just playing on the courts. But when I was like 15, that's when like something clicked. And I was like, okay, maybe I could actually play volleyball. Maybe I can actually do this in the future. And so ever since that, when I was in middle school, going into high school, I buckled down and wanted to actually like wanted to play in college. And so my whole recruitment process was kind of tricky in the sense of like my mindset. I growing up in Hawaii, your dream and like you want like you have a passion for playing for UH University of Hawaii. And that's where my oldest brother Clay went and that's his alma mater and that's where he played and had a great experience. And so I wanted to play there my entire life. And then when it came to my senior year, things changed and I was realizing like, hey, BYU is a great fit for me. My dad went to BYU. My older brother is at BYU right now. And I'm like, this is just a great way where I can still be connected to my family and still be around a sport that I love. And at the time, BYU was ranked number two in the nation. So I was like, hey, I, I, this is an opportunity I can't pass up. And so when I got the call saying like, hey, we want you to come to BYU, I was more than happy to say yes i was like okay i gotta go somewhere new off the island and yeah. then it was just a great experience like being able to leave and experience life on my own for the first time i mm -hmm. guess which was cool yeah that's awesome well that'll kind of round down our first segment wow i went quick huh oh my goodness i can yeah. keep going about it yeah. <laughs> don't worry we got two more segments okay uh so Kurt Renee should be sure to stick around for <laughs> part two and part three with john period we've got we've got a lot more a lot more stuff coming uh, but thanks for watching part one. Uh, thank you for watching this interview. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss the other two parts of this interview. Plus, all of our other interviews we do with BYU athletes. We also like to give a special thanks to our Cougar Board Insiders for making this possible.